Hello viewers, welcome to my channel once again. Today we'll be addressing a topic about sex education and its consequences and we'll relate it to biblical instances of how dangerous sex education is to our children and our young words. Brethren and sisters in the Lord, the Bible was very, very clear when it made mention that sex has nothing to do with two unmarried people. Two unmarried adults have no business with sex, let alone talk, talk about children, kids, teenagers. They don't have anything to know. The Bible was very, very clear. It made what is supposed to be known, that is, no fornication. Any other thing is just man-made. And we all know once something keeps being talked, talked, talked about every day, it becomes normal. As a matter of fact, it makes people curious. Teenagers, children are always curious. They want to learn. So you always, once you always tell them about this thing, they will always want to explore on their own. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll be talking about the devil's antics and how he uses the things of God. God made sex for only married people to be enjoyed in the context of marriage, sealed by a prophet of God in holy matrimony of God within the dominion that God allows it. Any other thing is perverseness and fornication and lust. The devil always finds a way to counter what the Bible said. The Bible warns against fornication. Now when fornication became a thing, because fleshly desires are one of the sins that the humans tend to, to find difficult to stay away from, then he brought sicknesses, grave sicknesses that can cost you your life. AIDS, STDs, and what have you. Then the devil checked this, then the devil went back to his drawing board, then he made protection and called it condoms. He started distributing condoms. If you go to secondary schools and tertiary institutions, they give out condoms for free. They encourage fornication. They, they encourage sex outside matrimony between young people who don't even know what life is now sex is a is a is a is a, is a, is a sex done done outside of marriage is something you do out of your will out of your fleshly desires and now they give teenagers condoms to go practice sex for free so that they will practice uh, disease free sex disease free sin that is the devil antics so you will not be afraid of catching disease you will practice sex in a safe i don't know what they call it now check this thing and see how, uh, why i said this is the devil's antics check menstruation the woman's periodic blood flow that is done this is a natural phenomenon this happens uncontrollable. The woman has no control over this. They don't give out free parts, free sanitary parts. Parts are very expensive. You don't see them going around to help people who are less privileged with free parts, but they give free condoms to, for, for them to breed either unwanted pregnancies. Now check it this way. When the devil brought condoms and checked Okay, now unwanted pregnancy would have been another problem. Then he introduced abortion. Do you believe there are some states in America now that are fighting that a woman should be able to do whatever she wants with her body and she should be able to abort anytime she wants? So they are, they are, they are encouraging fornication and lust and what have you. In fact, as a matter of fact, Disney movies, Disney that makes movies for our children that we know, that we trust our children to watch cartoons, animations, are saying they will not shoot films in that state in America again because they stopped abortion. They are against abortion. They, Disney have said they will not shoot film in that state again, that the state should allow women 
to do abortion. They are encouraging fornication. And these are people you entrust your kids with. That is why I'm asking you to be very careful and watch the cartoons, this an animation series. Your children watch these days. I was uh, with my sisters, uh, my nephews and nieces. They were watching a cartoon. I think it's a complete compilation of different cartoons. The parents now felt, okay, this is just animation. And they left these kids with this thing. I don't know what I came doing. I went inside and I saw two animated people having raw sex on television with those kids. In those kids' compilation of CDs. Do you know what is happening? Look at what is happening. Now look at... The devil went and made pills. If you are scared of having sex, you are afraid of unwanted pregnancy, he made pills. Pills that can stop and kill sperm before they even uh, turn into babies. So now he's encouraging you to sin. 